guys, this is Cheryl with Architect Destiny. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to tune in today for another video. Um, if you are new to my channel, I'm glad you found me. And if you're a subscriber, I just want to say again how much I appreciate you always coming back and checking out my videos. And so today um, is actually Saturday, April 1st, and we're going to be filming um, a plan with me for the month of April. I've got my Jibun Techo A5 Slim here. I have it housed in a beautiful Hobonichi cover from the 2023 Hobonichi Cousin line. I've got um, some beautiful butterfly stickers um, that speak spring in every way possible. These are from um, Hobby Lobby. I've got my beautiful um, rich pink um, zig clean color dot that I'll be using to mark all of my meetings and appointments. And I've got this cute washi that kind of has all the colors in it. It's got kind of a purpley gray color, the fuchsia, dark pink, the lime green. Um, it's got all of the colors in it. It's floral, um, so I think it goes nicely with the butterflies. And I can't remember where I got this. I want to say that I purchased it from Michael's, but I've had it for so long, as you can see, it's almost gone. Um, I've used it a lot because I really like it. So um, I thought it would match nicely with um, the colors of the butterflies. So we're going to go with that. I also have a few more things. I have my uh, month stickers from Stickabilities at Hobby Lobby. And of course, I'll be pulling the April sticker here. And I've got some random stickers from, um, I think these are from Chrissy and Design's sticker book, if I'm not mistaken, which I more than likely purchased at um, Michael's and I just thought like for my sidebar for my monthly goals I might use maybe this pink cloud and maybe a to-do sticker or either this cute little to-do list notepad sticker with the pink pen I haven't decided yet so I've kind of got both and you know we'll decide kind of which one of these I use for my task bar and yeah I think that is everything it's going to be a pretty simple spread nothing unusual my same format my same technique and we'll see how it turns out we will flip over to April <clears throat> excuse me and you'll see that um, I've got it all pre-planned out here as per usual and I think what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and jump in and put down all of my meetings and my appointments and so forth. As you can see, I've already got my holiday marked in. I don't have Good Friday marked in, and I need to write that in. And it's also a day off for me, which is, yay, super cool. Um, and that works out well because we're going to visit our son this weekend to see his probate show for his fraternity. I've already got my birthdays marked in as well, and yeah, and another birthday, my brother-in-law, and yeah, everything else I just need to, um, need to write into my planner, so with that being said, I'm going to move my stickers and my washi to the side, I'm going to keep that here, and we're just going to jump in and I'm going to play some music while I write everything in. Um, this is probably not going to be here. This is probably going to be here. So I'm going to move it like right now. So I don't get confused because this is today. We're not having our family business meeting today. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and put on some music for you guys. And I'm going to get started.
had everything written in and um, it's shaping up. It looks like to be a pretty busy April um, with work stuff and personal stuff. And I do put like my work meetings on my personal calendar, even though like all of my work stuff, I keep on Outlook. That's where my tasks are. That's where my meetings are for work and everything that has to do with work. But I like to put my work meetings on my personal calendar because I work from home. So, you know, sometimes I may have to um, fit something else in during the day. Even if I was working in the office, it would be the same thing. So really working from home wouldn't change that. But, um, you know, I might need to fit something else in like an appointment or gosh, I forgot what I was supposed to. Oh, I didn't write Bible study right here. It's like there's a blank dot. What's going on? Let's refuel. Goes right there. That's what we call our midweek discipleship or Bible study. We call it refuel. Fuel it for the rest of the week. Um, so yeah, um, I like to have my work obligations on here so that if I have to plan a doctor appointment or a therapy appointment or do something with or for my husband or for one of my boys that I can like schedule it into a spot that's not going to conflict with something that I have committed myself to for work. So that is why I put my work meetings and so forth on my personal calendar. And I've got a few of those, like I've got our, we, our monthly branch meeting is usually the first Monday of the month. So all the teams in the branch get together and just talk about branch business and um, company-wide announcements and just different things. Um, I'm a notary, so, um, you know, if people need estate documents and things like that notarized, other teams in our branch, or either my team or clients or what have you, or even employees, you know, my teammates come and say, can you notarize this for me? So um, I have a notary appointment on Monday at 1.00. And then we celebrate branch birthdays on the same day as the branch meeting every month. But after lunch, like mid-afternoon, we'll have cake or cupcakes or cookies or something like that to celebrate all of the birthdays in the branch. So that's at 3 o'clock on Monday. So typically Tuesday is my day in the office um, for the week. I work from home four days a week. And... On Tuesdays, my team goes into the office so that we can, you know, meet together in person in the morning. That's the team meeting at 10 every day, every Tuesday. And then if we need to collaborate on things that we're working on together or what have you, or just, you know, just to be in the office for just the community aspect of it, you know. Um, I don't think anybody in our office is in the office every single day of the week anymore since COVID. I mean, we've kind of all, you know, turn to a more hybrid type situation, which I think we all enjoy and appreciate. Um, so each team kind of has a day that their team comes in the office just to kind of be together in person. So that's Tuesday for me. So on this particular week, I'll be in the office on Monday and Tuesday. Since I'll be here most of the day on Monday because of three different obligations I have, I probably will not stay the whole day on Tuesday. I may come home after lunch on this day and just work the rest of the day from home. We'll see. I mean, if I'm a, in a groove at the office and don't feel like stopping, then I'll just stay. But we'll see. Um, I've got my midweek Bible study discipleship every Wednesday at 7. Um, this is a nice week. It's Easter week. And um, our company gives Good Friday off as a company holiday. So that's nice. So I marked the holiday itself and the fact that I have the day off. And that works perfectly because our youngest son, Cameron, pledged to fraternity this year. And, you know, he's through the pledging process. He's a full-fledged member of the fraternity. And they're having what they call a probate show where they do like a special performance, um, he and his line brothers. Um, so my husband and I are going to that um, this weekend. And we'll be back bright and early on Easter morning to be at church because we've got a full day at church. 
Um, it's Easter, which in and of itself is special. We're also doing having a baby dedication during the worship service, and we're also doing baptism. So very busy Sunday. Just pray, pray, pray to goodness that nothing goes wrong with our flight and there's no delays or anything like that because we will be leaving at oh dark 30 to get back um, in time for church at 1030. So that's that. And then just other um, homework and personal things. Let's see. Oh, this is fun. Um, on this Tuesday, I've got another full day at the office. We got our team meeting. Um, then my um, colleagues who have my same title in our office get to have lunch with our manager, the managing director of our office, once a quarter just to kind of talk about how things are going in our world and how he can support us and, you know, what's going well, what's not going well. And we usually have a nice lunch along with that that we cater in. Um, so that will be on the 18th. And then also uh, tax time is over um, as of April 15th, or I guess the official day is what, maybe the 17th, since the 15th is on a Saturday. Not exactly sure, but we are having tax day smoothies from Smoothie King on 18th to uh, commemorate the end of tax season um, because we're a financial services firm or investment management firm. Um, tax season is big for us. We do a lot of things around taxes to um, serve our clients in that way. So it's a busy time for us um, all the way up until uh, tax day. So for us to celebrate completing tax season, we're going to get smoothies delivered into the branch. And that'll be fun. I love smoothies from Smoothie King. And then um, another work meeting. I try to go visit, my, I've got my paydays marked with these cute stickers. I mention them every single time from Tory Grant Designs on Etsy. And then I'm um, going to visit my mom this weekend. That is the plan, that is the goal. I try to go spend the weekend with her once a month. And so this is the weekend that I hope to be able to do that. Um, since CJ has a dentist appointment here, I only have it here to remind him of it. So it's not my appointment, it's his appointment, but just want to make sure he gets there. And then we have our sweet couples uh, discipleship group that we're doing, small group at seven. Um, we're kind of discipling and mentoring three dating slash engaged couples in our church and um, this will be our second meeting and we're also planning a bowling outing here or either an escape room we're letting the couples decide what we're going to do it'll either be bowling or escape room but it will be this weekend either friday or saturday so that'll be fun we'll get to be with them thursday and friday or saturday so Yay, I'm so excited about the NFL draft. I will not be missing that. I will have some kind of fun food for that, maybe a salad from Chopped or a pizza or something fun to sit back and relax and watch the draft on Thursday evening. So I'm glad that our couples is from 7 to 8 and then the draft starts at 8. So whatever we're going to eat, um, either Cedric or I will need to go pick that up before our couples, like right after work, we just run out and pick up whatever we're gonna eat so we can be ready for the draft to eight o'clock. So I'm excited about that. So, and I really love the way this pink color looks. I think this is gonna be super cute with my stickers, which we'll be getting to in just a second. I mean, that's, that's pretty darn close as far as the fuchsia color goes in these stickers. Um, what I'm gonna do first though is just set up my sidebar. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do, if I'm going to do the cloud with a to-do sticker or the um, notepad. I don't know. Maybe I just need to test it out and see what I'm going to like. That's cute. I kind of like that already. Um, that is cute and with the pen. I think I'm going to do it. So 
yeah. I think I'm gonna do it. I can't decide where, to, how do I want to position the notepad over here and then the pen. Um, Or do I want this? Will it look better with the butterflies? Where are my butterflies? The cloud with the butterflies or the, ooh, when you put it like that, it looks like the cloud will look better, doesn't it? I think so. I thought I had my mind made up. Evidently not. I think I'm gonna go with the cloud, guys. Are you with me on that? I'm gonna put it like right there. Put it right there. Yes, I do like that. And then I'm gonna grab, hopefully I can find a clear to-do sticker, or maybe, one second. Um, I have these, and I also have these that I could cut the little asterisk off. That's kind of big. I think maybe the type font to-do might fit better within the cloud. Let's see. It's not really easy to see, actually. It's not easy to see that. Hmm. I might be having some second thoughts. What about this one? <sighs> now that I'm looking at it, I don't know. I Ideally, it would be a clear one, but I don't have a clear one. I don't have anything that would work. Um, important. That's kind of big. It needs to be bold because this is kind of dark. It needs to be bold so you can see it. Prioritize, let's see. Um, Guys, I don't, I don't know. Um, if I cut this off, I wonder. Uh, let's see. Maybe. I don't know. That kind of looks cute. Just like place it across there. Uh, I don't know. Um, what about this one? Kind of takes away from the cloud. I totally didn't plan to spend this much time deliberating on this. You know what I mean? Thought it was gonna be pretty straightforward. Now I'm rethinking the cloud because I don't have any any to-do stickers that look good with it. So maybe I'll go back to the, I just really like that. I think it goes with the butterflies. The whole like outdoor thing. Um, maybe if I put a you got this sticker. What do you think, guys? Um, what about you got this. I wish it was clear though. That's too big. <laughs> That's too big. That's way too big. Way too big. What if I put the to do over top of the cloud? I kind of like that actually. Um, 
I kind of like that. That, I didn't see that coming, but that's cute. So we've got my sidebar set up. Uh, let's put down some deco. The first thing I'm gonna do, I need to make a decision about, oops, let's see. Do I have some quote stickers? Let's take a look. Some quote stickers that I would want to use, shall we say. Um, Okay, these are good. I thought I had more. Let's see. What about... I don't have a spring set of stickers. Summer, I have fall, okay. Um, thought I had some more quotes somewhere. You know what, I think when I was purging my stickers, I probably gave them away, which is fine. Um, that is perfectly fine because I needed to purge my stickers. I had someone message me on Instagram and I was just so compelled by what she was doing. She was, um, she had a, a small group that she was mentoring and working with of ladies who were recovering from alcohol and drug addiction. And she wanted to do planning with them and she just reached out to me randomly and asked if I had any like stickers and washi tape and any kind of stationery and planning supplies or um, planners that I wasn't using that I'd be willing to donate. I was like, absolutely. I mean, I was just so compelled about, you know, by what she was doing and how she was just like being there and mentoring these ladies in such a purposeful way, like, planning and journaling. I thought that was just so compelling. And so I just went through all of my stuff and just pulled out all of the stickers. Like you guys know how big this book was. Like it couldn't even close. It was like an open like this. There's so many stickers. And now it's like that because I pulled out so many stickers and packed them up. And all that to say the quote stickers I was looking for, I'm sure I gave them away which is perfectly fine. Um, but it was it just felt so good. I even went out and bought a couple of um, happy planners to put in the box. And because she said, I asked her how many ladies did not have planners at all. And she said there were two. So, and she specifically asked for disc bound planners. So I just went out and picked up a couple of happy planners and put them in the box. And I just, I was like, that just felt so good to do that because something that I love so much that someone else is like doing something so amazing with that to, you know, pour into the lives of other people and help with their healing process. Cause I know how healing planning is for me and how much peace it brings me and how much joy and how it's so therapeutic and all that. So just the fact that somebody is doing that, you know, I was just so happy to be a part of that, even just like in a small way. So that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a, <laughs> a little side story there for you to say why I couldn't find my quote stickers. But I need to decide whether I'm gonna put my um, April at the top or at the bottom. There's plenty of room in both places. Um, I think maybe since I put March down at the bottom, Maybe I'll put April at the top. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, this is like a lot going up here, uh, going on up here already. And then to put washi tape and another sticker up here. Maybe if I move it over some. And then maybe put butterflies and stuff down here. 
that could work. I don't know that I wanna like put it across the middle. I've done that before and it does kind of keeps the pages really from like laying super flat when there's something like, like right here. I did that in January actually. And you know, it does kind of, well, I guess it's gotten flat since I've been pressing it, but you know, anyway, I'm rambling. Let's see, I'm gonna, I think, put it, I think I'm gonna put April right here and I might just put the washi tape all the way across here. So let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh. Just gonna press that right in the crease there because I'm gonna roll it all the way across. And then I think I'm gonna Exacto knife here, and it's gonna have kind of a ragged edge there, so we will do a straight edge on this side. Let's see what we got. Looks good. I'm glad this isn't a long month. <laughs> the long month stickers because they're so big and because this is like kind of fussy cut, it's hard to maneuver sometimes. Now, always the dilemma whether I put it kind of off the side or on top. It's my constant dilemma. So I think I'm kind of liking the off the side, kind of, sort of. I like the way that looks. I think we're gonna go with that. How's that, guys? I kind of like that. Um. So that's the month and the washi down. Let's um, see about some of these butterflies here. What we're gonna do with those? Just sprinkle those around. And I didn't, I didn't explain why I left this on here. I don't think because we haven't decided whether it's Friday or Saturday. I'm just gonna leave this like that for right now. I'm gonna take it off for the purposes of being aesthetically pleasing on camera. <laughs> I will remove it, but I will replace it when we're all done because I need it, I need it there. Um, but I think we're gonna see where I wanna put some butterflies here. And I believe I might want, I want a big one or I think I want green for sure up here kind of like that and i'm gonna put a big one down here in this corner again i think i'm gonna go for the green down here i think i'm also maybe gonna put some washi we'll see i'm not like the most, you know, creative deco person. I don't have a good sense for, you know, composition and all of that fancy artistry kind of stuff. I'm clueless about that. I just kind of go with, with the feel and hope it turns out okay. That's kind of how I roll. Um, 
let's put um, let's put a pink one like maybe right there I think that would be pretty that's the nice thing about having stickers on a clear sticker sheet you can kind of place it down and see what looks good where before you commit and you don't have to pull the sticker off you can just kind of see how it's going to fit there before you pull it off and put it down. I've also got flowers and hearts that I can sprinkle around as well, so let's give that a go. Let's do some of that. Some flowers and hearts here and there. See, that might inhibit my to-do list a little bit, so let's place that one maybe right there. Uh, what else do we have? I could do... Um, so let's put this one... This one here, that would give me a little bit of room in both of those boxes should I need to write something in after the fact. Um, It's kind of an orangey gold flower. That's pretty. We're gonna put this one maybe um, right there. Actually, um, where do I want to put it? Here or here? I actually kind of like it right there. Do I have enough butterflies? I feel like I don't. I feel like I need like just more stuff in general. <laughs> I don't think my to-do list is going to be super long, so. I'm going to put a flower right there. At least it doesn't need to be super long because that's super intimidating. <laughs> right? Uh, let's put another heart. I know I need... I'm going to put some washi down here, I'm pretty sure. I really want to put a quote sticker. Maybe I'll put it right here. I don't know. The quote stickers are on a white background, so I don't know that I want to put it over the washi. Don't know. Um, let's put the washi down and then we'll see. straight it's so hard when you go across the crease in the center it's like it almost tweaks the washi to not being straight it gets slanted when you go across so you kind of have to be really purposeful in putting it down I think 
that's pretty straight. And I think I kind of don't want a straight edge on this side. I think I want kind of a ragged, yeah, like that. I think I will cut this though for the next time I use it. I think that's it for the washi. Um, now, do I want to put one of these quotes right here or right here? I like making my dreams come true. Um, I also like the best is yet to come. No rain, no flowers. That's kind of good for April, like April showers bring May flowers kind of thing. But it's very small, so I want something a little bigger. Making my dreams come true. Let's see, do I want to put it here or here? Kinda. I wish you guys could like advise me. Should I put it all the way to the bottom or kind of up? Up is speaking to me a little bit more loudly, I think. I think up is speaking to me more. Okay, and then maybe I'll put like a little flower to set it off a little bit. That's cute. Do I want another quote sticker somewhere? If I put the no rain, no flowers in a box, then that would, I think, be nice because it is so small. Um, okay. I like that one right there. Do I want another quote sticker? Or I feel like this is very empty right here. Do I want another butterfly right there? Am I just gonna go all in with the butterflies? Why not? I think maybe I'll put this one. one here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to put another little flower maybe here. Does this look kind of empty to you guys? putting another butterfly but then I would need to move this flower so let's see I am just really going off the deep end with the butterflies I think should I feel like I need something right there. Maybe I should have put this quote sticker right here instead of up there at the top. Let's see if I will like. Then I'm going to say the top looks. <laughs> I'm going to say the top looks like it needs something. 
I think I kind of do like that better there. Got this little flower right there. <clears throat> Just put some more flowers here. And maybe a heart or two. this too much? I wish you guys could tell me, because I don't know. Um, maybe not. How does that look? I think, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think I'm going to put this little heart right here. For some reason, I just want to. my April spread in my A5 Slim Jibuntecho planner and I will think about my goals and work on my goals a little bit more um, before I write anything in here. There's probably a couple things I need to migrate from March and then some new things that I may want to work on for the month of April um, but I need to think about that a little bit more before I fill this out. So yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out with me while I put this together. I feel a lot better having everything on paper and ready to go on April 1st for the month. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me personally and also mean a lot to my channel. And if you're not subscribed and you enjoy my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I upload future videos, you'll be one of the first to know. That's it for me for today, guys. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.